Hey guys, how's it going? It is my different username here, and we are actually here at Brick World 2022. I actually just brought some of my builds over, and normally these would end up on my YouTube channel, but it's always nice to kind of come out to the public, and thank goodness we can come back out again. And it's actually really nice to show off some of my old stuff and uh, even some new things that maybe some people might recognize, but we can actually go through the list here. So from the old stuff, this is a nice classic. This is actually a resistance pistol from World War II. They dropped these in for allies uh, to uh, go against the uh, Nazi uh, parliament. And this was essentially for civilians. And they would be simply loaded with uh, one singular 45 ACP right into the chamber area of this uh, pistol. And then when you lock it in, one simple pull of the trigger would actually fire the round. And a lot of people use this to uh, actually capture weapons from the Nazi police and essentially go from one small weapon to an even bigger one. Pretty nice. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that one's really cool. And uh, this one's kind of interesting. A lot of people probably think, like, th this looked like it came out of a cave, right? Like, <laughs> like someone. But uh, this actually is so interesting because this, believe it or not, actually came from the 50s. And this was used by uh, Greek terrorists when uh, the British Parliament was actually invading during the time. This uh, small little island of Cyprus that is right outside of Greece. So the people wanted to rise up against uh, the British Parliament. So they handcrafted a bunch of interesting weapons like this one where it would actually be loaded in from the front. And this isn't a makeshift barrel, it's actually the casing of an even bigger round, a 20 millimeter round, and taking something as simple as like flint to strike gunpowder into it to simply fire the weapon was essentially how this Aoka pistol worked, and that was the name of the terrorist group, Aoka. Uh, very unique. I love your, your choice of uh, inspiration for builds here. Uh, I hate to admit it. I wish it was the history that inspired me to make that, but believe it or not, it was uh, the video game Rust. <laughs> Hey, you know, uh, whatever works. <laughs> oh, always. And speaking of that, since this was from a video game, awesome stuff that we have here. I don't know what this is, but uh, right here we actually have my hot dog blaster or glizzy cannon, whoever would like to call it what. But this is actually a skin, an exact replica of this one. But this was actually designed by a streamer. I believe his name is Sequisha. He goes by Twitch, so I'll plug him there. And uh, this was just a streamer skin just meant for the community, I would assume. But I kind of just saw it as the Lego builder I am, and I was like, I got to go for it. So made the whole video, did an April Fool's thing of it. And just to compliment, made a little mustard bottle and ketchup bottle just as long. <laughs> very, very unique. Even more creative. Yeah. And then uh, so with all the jokes uh, off to the side, and this is actually something I haven't made a video on this yet. And I'm actually going to leave it here because it's it's pretty fragile. I'm going to have to rework some things. That's what's kind of great about uh, the whole brick world experience is uh, you hand this off to people and it kind of when it falls apart in their hands, you realize, uh oh, I got to I got to fix something. So he's kind of prototype state, but that is a 40 millimeter grenade launcher used by the U.S. military. And it was in and around the 60s when they actually started developing it. It's uh, crazy. Actually, I did a little bit of history and it turns out uh, the U.S. Army has always wanted to send uh, explosions off in certain ranges and they can only do that with rocket launchers during World War II so they wanted to basically simplify the whole process for uh, small arms groups and uh, one day they were just messing around with a little barrel spring and a golf ball and they were thinking well what if we turn grenades into this size so they eventually developed what would eventually be the 40 by 46 millimeter grenade and this was literally apparently inspired by the size of a golf ball which I guess happens to be around 40 mil and which is slide right in. You would obviously lock it back, fire, and angle it around the room. It's, it's honestly a really uh, neat setup. And can't believe it apparently originally came from uh, somebody just swinging a golf ball around in their backyard. It's just, it's just wild to think that a, a weapon like this kind of came from that. So can't wait to do the video on that. And then over here, I'm actually going to pick this up real quick. This is my latest build right here. And I'm very, very happy with this one. So right here is the CZ Scorpion Evo carbine. Now, this is really neat. This is actually a very postmodern weapon. It's a submachine gun used by uh, the Czechoslovakian army, I believe. I believe they're still using this one. If not, they've uh, upgraded to the uh, plus version. And uh, what's really cool about this is because um, you know, modern weapons, there's a lot of 
modularity that goes into how most people set up their weapons. So this is actually has like a combination. We got a drum magazine, collapsible uh, arm brace right here, as well as a laser sight, foregrip, red dawn on top, and a little snubby uh, suppressor at the end, just to really give it some flair. And uh, what's neat is I can actually go through the different mags. Got lots of details on this. Right here we have a 50 round drum magazine. If I just put this down for a moment, I can go over and grab the smallest that I have, this little 20 rounder. It's supposed to be a transparent magazine, but then you know easily just locks into the system like so. And it's really transferable between all the magazines. So we have 35 rounds right here, which is pretty typical magazine size for something like this. And then as a joke, I uh, figured to kind of go with the food theme, a literal banana magazine. Got a few bruise spots here and there to kind of show off. Very realistic. How, how realistic it can really be. Oh yeah, pretty neat. And uh, it's actually cool. So the safety is set and will actually hold in place. And then when removed, will actually function normally. The charging handle as well functions. And if I even take this and push this up, we have a little bolt catch here as well. And I'll flip it around for the camera, not wanting to flag anyone, but if I release the button, it should slam down. Oh, it didn't. Might be a little bit of friction. Isn't this great on camera accidents? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Flawless. Flawless. Ah, uh, every time, every time. But uh, yeah, this was my little lineup, and uh, oh, I know it's hard to see, but that red dot actually is functional. It's not turned on at the moment, but I think the light brick kind of speaks for itself. It is definitely a functioning uh, projectioning optic, which is another cool thing. And uh, yeah, we can even shorten this guy up just a little bit here. Sweet. Nice and compact. And uh, yeah, I make all of these over at my YouTube channel, which is called My Different Username, or you can even go to my website, MyDifferentUsername.com. Super awesome. And it was really awesome to bring all these out for Brickworld uh, 2022. <laughs> Thank you so much. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I'm out of breath. Oh, that was <laughs> awesome.